Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand him then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. It is for our freedom that Christ died on the cross. He died for our sins that we be set free from sin, from the yoke of slavery. We have been slaved to sin, and therefore, friends, we needed to be set free. We cried out for help because we cannot do anything about it. Well, Christ came to save us and to set us free. And this is the reason why he came. Now, what was our life before he came? Well, it was a terrible life, friends. If you just had to go back, it was full of darkness. It was full of burdens and all kinds of trials. And that's the reason why we were crying out for help. We were so burdened. Then came the Lord and he set us free. And we rejoiced because there was such freedom. There was such a relief from the burden because he came to save us. But we are not told, friends, that we can again be drawn back to sin if we don't guard our hearts. That's why he said that stand firm then. Stand firm then in our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because otherwise, we can be drawn back to sin again and be entangled with sin again and go back to that slave slavery to sin. There is that yoke, so heavy yoke, that would come and oppress us again. So friends, today, my prayer is that let's stand firm in our faith in God. Let's not wish to go back to where we came from. Well, a lot of people wish that they would go back because it seems better. Because during those times, they can do anything they want without guilt. See, all kinds of wickedness they can do without guilt. Why? Because, again, friends, they were under the yoke of slavery. They were the slave of sin. But today, friends, we are better off if we have to consider the eternal implication of what we are doing. Remember that we are not here forever and ever. Life here on earth is not eternal. Life here on earth is temporal. And so if we have to consider this, it's not worth going back. It's foolishness to go back. And this is what the Apostle Paul was saying. It's time for them that you may not go back to the same problem again, to the same slavery again. So it is for that freedom that we are set free. And therefore, let us rejoice. Hallelujah. Let us be glad in the Lord for his love for each one of us. He cares about us. He doesn't want that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. All should be saved. That's why we are free, friends, today. But this freedom, don't use it to indulge the sinful nature again. Don't use this freedom to go back and do exactly the same thing that you used to do. No. The path to go is forward. Let's march forward and we are on a journey and this journey will end in heaven. Hallelujah. So may the Lord bless you then and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace, his alone. God bless. See you again next time.